guys, if you're like me, you don't like being stuck inside during winter. Um, I don't like winter much. I don't like to be cold. It sucks. I can't really fish for the fish I like to fish for. So what I'm going to do today is try to give you all some tips and tactics to get on the water during winter and still catch some alligator gar. So I have a couple of tips right off the bat. One is go coastal or as close to the coast as you could possibly go. It's warmer down there. The nighttime temps are warmer. They feed better during the winter at the coast. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is go on a warm day. Today is 74 degrees and it's going to be about that all day. But more importantly, the last three or four days were all like 75, 80 degree days. So the nighttime temps haven't had a chance to push the water temperatures down super low. So we have a good chance of gar feeding. I've been seeing a lot of them today. Another tactic that I'm going to tell you all to do is use smaller baits. I'm using like small eight inch mullet today and that's about the size I'm going to stick with. I just want a bait they can pick up, mouth, and swallow without a ton of effort. I don't want them holding it for 10-15 minutes. I definitely don't want that. My last tactic is fish shallow. So past about eight, nine feet of water, there's usually a colder water line below that. So these alligator gar aren't going to go past six, seven, eight feet of water. So currently in the spot I'm in, it's 15, 20 feet out in the middle. But instead of casting way out to that, I'm actually going to cast like 25 feet out over here where I know there's about seven or eight foot flats. I, I came into the spot sticking my paddle down. My paddle's eight foot and I was hitting bottom about 25 feet out. So that's where I'm going to put my baits right on there. That's going to be the most likely area where gar are going to go down to often to look at the bottom and see if they want to pick anything up past that you know eight ten foot mark they're not going to go down during winter even during summer they don't like to go past about 15 feet of water all right guys just to summarize that real quick my four tips are go coastal or as close as you can go go when it's warm in a multiple days in a row when it is warm Fish as small as bait as you can with it still being like an actual bait you know five six inches somewhere in there and also fish your bait shallower. You don't want your bait in deeper than about eight feet of water. Okay, bait number one, like I said, we're not casting super far, right about there. Should be good. Bait number two is floating, which we don't want. So, there we go. That should be the air. Going to make sure it sinks now. Okay, bait number two same deal not going very far just a little lob right there kind of on the edge of that shallow shelf i know with these huge rods i could really bomb them out there but that's really not going to be in my best interest so i'm just going to leave that right there feel good i got a rope just saying That looks good. What? I'm coming. You seen the hook? No. Interesting. I'm gonna just put it in my rod holder since it's vertical. You can see the hook. No, but I gotta tell you, I got short leader. Okay. Do you wanna try and land him and tag him? Um, I actually didn't bring tagging stuff here, so. You wanna try and land him? Yeah, we can land him. Let's see if he'll get his little strike out real quick. Yeah. Let him get a couple of those out real fast. Seems pretty, pretty okay with it for the most part. Yeah. 
she's actually a little bigger. Alright guys, we uh, went into a new spot. This spot's a little shallower than the last 10. About 10 minutes in, I gotta run. All right, I'm currently letting my gar run. I'm sitting right here. She's about 15 feet in front of that float. So I'm sitting probably 25 feet behind her right now, maybe 30. She's kind of going down real slow. She's cold, so I'm not gonna force her or do anything too quickly. Let her take her time. All right. Well. Christmas time gar right there. She's not huge, but happy to have her. that video let me know in the comments and maybe consider watching one of my other videos